Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Barbara and I'm an illustrator from France. And soon I will finally go for vacation. Um, I got married with my husband, which is logical, you cannot get married with not your husband. <laughs> But I got married with my husband in September 2020 and we had not been able to go for our honeymoon because it was a pandemic. For people wondering why would you get married in pandemic, why not waiting, etc. It's for family reason because I wanted to be sure that my grandparents would be there and as I've lost my grandmother this year and that last year she was in a state where she wouldn't have been able to be part of the wedding I have no regret but what says pandemic says no honeymoon, no traveling at all so we had to wait we also had to wait to have the time, we also had to wait to have the money and finally we are leaving this year which I'm so excited, right now I want to cry every time I think about it I want to cry so we're yeah, very excited and of course I love making art so it's not because I will be on vacation that I will not paint or draw because Painting and drawing is part of my happiness. I'm sorry if you hear noise, but they're still making, um, working on the building and I cannot film this at another moment. So yeah, let's go. I'm going to take um, color pencil, uh, watercolor, maybe a few crayons and one tube of gouache and also like um, of course eraser, um, pencil, pencil sharpener, uh, I mean basic stuff you know scissors like and probably one or two sketchbook so yeah I'm going to make with you my hello Mia can you my baby I'm going to miss you a friend come uh, to take care of Mia, so she won't be alone, but I'm going to miss her, she's so cute. So yeah, that's how I end up with hair absolutely everywhere, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to make a very small palette into, uh, I mean very small, for me it's very small, uh, into this black empty one. And I won't take like mixing palettes because, well, I have enough places there. In case you didn't know, because I realized many people don't know, you can take off the middle of um, palette, like on every palette I've ever owned, you can do that. And you have more spaces. It's really made for this, like you can see, they wouldn't make uh, wells like for pleasure you know but yeah I realized many people didn't know that now you do if you didn't and maybe you remember if you had forgotten so I've calculated I can put seven there and seven there so 14 and I will probably put some in the middle but I will try not to I will try to limit myself but if you've watched even a few of my videos, you probably already know that for sure there will be some colors there. So yeah, I'm going to pick these colors with you. Then I'm going to use these uh, pencil case that I have that is retractable. Everything I'll take like um, brushes, um, br brushes, liners, pencils, everything will have to fit into this and I'm taking this one because 
it opens and then you smash it down and you have basically um, a pain pot. A pain pot. Yeah, a pen pot. Pain. You know. You know what I'm talking about again. So, yeah. Let's go. Let's choose our supplies. I'm so bad at making decisions, guys. So I really hope you will not hate me after this video. And I will try my best to be like, you know, with this method that is like counting to five and taking the decision. Because if I don't do this, this video will be three weeks long. First thing first, let's choose... The pencils I'm going to take because I think this is going this is this will be one of the fastest thing I'm going to take this olive green yellowish uh, Prussian blue let me check maize green may green uh, this is indigo no ink blue hello turquoise and Indigo, dark indigo. Oh, and this green, uh, permanent olive green. I think maybe with this one too. You, you see, I'm already bad at making decision. The light ultramarine. I think that with these ones, do I really need? Okay, this one, you know what? Non negotiable. This, ah, this one either. The Prussian blue, either. This one I use quite a lot. This one will be nice for vacation. Maybe not this shoe. Okay, not this shoe, but this one, yes. And I think that's it. It's a black, it has nothing to do there. But yeah, for the blues and the greens, we have our winners. Then we are going to put them there. We are going to pick our bubbles in pink and red. So I'm going to take the one that I use all the time. So this one is coral. I use this one quite often, cinnamon. I use this dark red also pretty often. A geranium lake, pale geranium lake. I'm going to take the red violet. You know what? Five colors. Oh, there's progress. Ooh, exciting. And then in these colors, I think I'm going to pick more because browns and yellows and neutrals, you know, I use a lot. So let's go. Burnt sienna, must have. Uh, raw umber, burnt umber, dark cadmium yellow, green gold, sanguine. I will probably use this dark cadmium orange, dark chrome yellow. We are regressing, guys. Ochre, Vori, and I have a dark sepia, and I need to take a black. I took a lot, but I need all these colors. <sighs> Look at this. These are my essential color pencils. I love colors. Really, guys, I could look at color stuff like for hours. I'm going to put them in my pencil case. So, second very easy decision, like fast decision, will be uh, my brushes because I have some favorite brushes. We are here to make decisions. This one will stay. I still love you guys, but I, can I cannot take all of you with me. Please don't hate me. So, we have our six winners. We have a very tiny short one. A tiny a bit longer one this one is from Leonard this one is from best uh, or need art I'm not sure then we have this one from da Vinci this one from need art again this one da Vinci again same um, lines that this one and then we have this big one I'm not even sure that they're all watercolors <laughs> brushes but I use them for watercolors and I'm really happy with them so here are the brushes now we are going to put them into our little um, pencil case 
and we are going to add in the pen in the pen oh my god in the pencil case stuff that are required scissors eraser needed eraser if i find the box again we are going to take some jelly roll i'm going to take only the five we are going to take two pencils because we never know black liner from Tom Jumbo two liners one in a dark uh, dark gray and one in a light gray and a ruler and I think that's it I mean technically not because there is also white gouache that I'm going to take and I'm also going to add one or two crayons I'm going to put them now so I zoomed so you could see, ooh, even uh, prettier when it's bigger. <laughs> so I'm going to take four um, crayons because I will probably not do full art with it and just use them to add texture. So the white will be perfect for clouds and maybe on the waves and stuff like that. Green for greenery because I love adding texture, you know, in bushes and stuff like that. So I take a dark green olive. I'm using these uh, pink salmon. I use, I use it all the time to add some cheeks. Uh, not necessarily this color, but I've picked this one. And I'm also taking these light cobalt, cobalt blue hue, once again, for the sky and, you know, in the sea, adding little cute stuff and it's a very summery color so once i've added all these to the to the pencil case we are done with it guys so i was telling you that everything was fitting perfectly and i still have some room there so i can put the needed eraser into uh, with its box of course and i call and i can also add a sharpener once everything is inside I can close it, no problem. I want to draw, oh yes, let's go. I'm going to open this. I have my crayons and brushes, etc. I have my bigger non, non to be accessories. <laughs> it makes no sense. And I can draw, perfect. So now let's go to the kind of hardest choice, but I've been so good at choosing all of this that I start feeling confident for choosing the watercolors I'm going to take. Please believe in me, the part of the watercolor. So, uh, this box, it's from Art Philosophy. It's, it was the pastel gym one. Let's go. Also, what is really nice is that, as I'm not leaving right now, obviously, uh, I will have some time to try making some art with this limited art supplies once again it's limited with big um weird uh hand uh signs oh my god because uh i know that for some people this is actually all the art supplies that they own they maybe have even less and I absolutely don't think that the amount of art supplies that you own defines either your skill or your talent or your art worth, okay? I really want to say that. This is um, where we'll take the colors. And you know what I'm going to, oop. So this way, not that much. So this way I can show you all the colors and <laughs> the tiny little baby. Oh my god. He's so cute. So I have my colors there. If you haven't seen uh, the video where I build, 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 build this palette, um, I will put a link down below or something on the screen or so a little cut because I was oh my god the noise outside I was losing my mind and now I have the noise outside I'm sorry but that's how it is so I've put it in the right 
direction I don't remember how you say it's you know now I'm going to pick for me my essentials so it's going to start with primary yellow then you know what I'm going to move this so I can place stuff and move them we have primary red French ultramarine the golden yellow ochre I would say permanent magenta is a uh, is really non-negotiable raw umber with a black essentials <laughs> so I have a primary yellow a primary red French ultramarine uh, blue so primary blue kind of permanent magenta yellow ochre burnt sienna and raw umber for the browns black and gold technically with this you can make you're supposed to be able to make every color so I have four and seven and I have two technically I can take five more so now I can officially tell you that this won't happen <laughs> I will put some in the middle for sure because uh, I know me so I'm going to take serpentine genuine I think the turquoise green is a must. I mean, I'm going on vacation where there is the sea and I'm going to take rose. I'm going to take Naples yellow. I use Naples yellow all the time. I want to take Queen Acrid on gold. And I'm really thinking of making, you know, some cute flowers. So I would need citrus and I would need lavender. And I would like to use this one. And maybe one last. I really like the Rose of Ultramarine. I use it all the time. But will I use it for what I'm going to do there? I should better take depth if you want my opinion. How many can I put in the middle? I didn't I didn't even check. So I can put six in the middle. Okay, okay, okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm putting paint everywhere. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can take two more. Oh, we can put so many colors into this small palette. I'm going to take Icy Sky and I'm going to take... I only have one green. And truth is, I really like using greens. So I'm going to take Hooker's Green, which I think is a perfect basic green. So you can just add a bit of red, add a bit of yellow, add a bit of blue, and it totally changes the color. Or maybe a Compass Green, that's... No. No, Barbara, no. So we are going to go with these colors. It looks so empty. Oh, poor palette you were so full and now you're so empty bye bye i'm going to miss you so my mini palette and now we have i'm going to put them like this it's going to be easier we are going to put them in all rainbow order so we have this 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 uh like this one two three four five six seven the yellow and the pink you see it fits <gasps> i'm going to zoom for you isn't it already satisfying after the pink comes the magenta the purple the blue the greens oh no in the blues i also have the <gasps> I'm, I'm a bit sad because i really thought that all the blues and purples and greens would fit there and they would be only you know neutrals in the middle but we still love you i'll have the green ochre burnt sienna raw umber black and i'm going to open this just to put it there gold this is my dirty fingers <laughs> This is my little palette. I really like it. I'm going to swatch very quickly everything. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're able, you know, to... Because 
I've seen these really small palettes where you have like four colors that are very tiny. I think you can put them on your fingers. Or I don't remember exactly. People manage to do it and I'm so admirative because how, how, you know, I cannot choose. I, I would regret it, but some people are just so good. And now we are going to swatch this very quickly and it will be done. And after that, I think I'm going to paint something with my limited art supplies. So yeah, time for some swatches. I've added a little drop of water on every of my color and now I'm going to swatch, swatch, swatch. dry and I'm going to add it inside my palette. Um, so here are all the art supplies I'm going to take with me as well as two sketchbooks that I'm going to pick at the last moment. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know. Do you bring art supplies when you go on vacation? And if you do like, do you make like I did a smaller selection of your usual art supplies or do you have, I don't know, a special palette always there for vacation or or maybe you take advantage of going to vacation to make a break in art, which I've thought about, but uh, I like painting way too much. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know. Don't hesitate to leave a comment and leave a thumbs up and see you next week. Bye bye.